Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Marek Akadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect 144,000 men pushing this truth to wholehearted sincerity across the four winds. It's the IKI co-op to the spare and probably how Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, back with another lesson. You know, yesterday before camp, in the spirit, I was talking about, uh, you know, I did a quick little little snippet, a quick little video, of, and um, the the video was about we should have a desirous heart, but to what? You know, so this is to back that lesson up, you know, that little, that video up, you know, and uh, desire a spiritual heart, a spiritual mind, all right, because we know, you know, through the, through the studies of the Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash, you know that the word mind or heart, lab, in Hebrew is lab means mind. All right, your mind. When you when you are crazy in love with someone, they're always on your in your heart, right? But they're always on your mind. When you love something, when you desire something, when you when you really want something and, and you do, you care about it, it's in your it's in your mind. Your your heart is just a muscle that pumps the blood through your through your uh resp your, your circulatory system, your body. But your mind is your, is truly your heart, all right. So let's get see precepts and little one. This is an edifying lesson, you know. And uh, let's get into it. This is uh, Isaiah chapter fifty one and verse ten. Psalm chapter fifty one and verse ten. Okay. Create in me a clean heart, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. Okay? Now, that's what we should desire. We should create a what? A clean mind. Create in me a clean mind, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. Because there, and, and oftentimes before, you know, before you knew who the Heavenly Father was, before you knew his name before you understood that you was an Israelite. You had a we had a wicked heart. You had a, a wicked spirit. You did wicked things, and you were likened unto these heathens because we we were grow, we grew up with these heathens. We grew up in these kingdoms of the heathens. All right. So we took on and uh, adapted uh, the customs of these heathens and the attributes of these heathens. And now when you when you're starting to you know, wash your spirit, wash your mind with these scriptures. You see that, you know, you you have to put away all of these wicked things, and you you actually see just how wicked this world really is. All right, and that's why it says to be holy too, because holy means to be made separate. Okay, the word holy means to be made separate. All right. Okay, so it create in me a clean heart. A clean mind all right and when when you think about your mind you know which I will get later on but your mind has been corrupted at the hands and at the behest of Esau and these heathen nations why because they wanted us to be destroyed they wanted us to be far away from our our heavenly po power which will keep them in power okay so come on, let's go to Jeremiah 17 verse 9 the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it all right the heart is deceitful above all things so many people say you know especially with Christians I believe in my heart or I love, and in my heart, I know that this, 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 and this. Well, in your mind, <laughs> it is the, the mind is deceitful above all things. Why? Because it's made in the flesh. And, you know, you, you I often say that you are a, a product of your environment. All right? If you, were, if you were born in adversity, if you were born in, in captivity, if you were born in, in confusion, you know, you're going to be a product of that. 
And that's what Esau knows. That's why he sets up this, this society to be the, the way that it is. All right. That's why he, from a young age, get, wants to get your attention and doesn't lose it. All right. He puts you through these so-called learning institutions. All right. Making you, forcing your children to go to a building for nine hours a day to do something they don't want to do, to sit still. So they're just programming you to do what? The same thing when you get older. All right. To be a consumer, to be a drone. All right, so the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Heavenly Father know it, right? So then it says, verse 10, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits, the fruit of his doing. All right, so he gives every man according to what he's done and the fruit of his doings. All right, you reap what you sow. All right. The Heavenly Father makes sure that you reap what you sow because he knows what you do in secret. He knows everything that you do in the dark. All right. You 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 you, you trying to hide from the Heavenly Father is like <laughs> you stand in, stand in front of a light pole trying to hide behind a light pole. That's how it is. It's dumb. You can't do it. You can't. It can't be done. You can't hide from the Heavenly Father. You know, you can't. And these nations, I can't hide from the Heavenly Father. His eyes are on, upon their ways, all right? The wickedness of their ways, all right? But we, as men in this truth, as, as Israelites in this truth, we should desire a, a clean mind, a clean heart. And that's why the scriptures say, as a, newborn, as a newborn babe desire the sincere milk, all right? The milk is the foundation of the scriptures, all right? The, the understanding, the basics of, of the scriptures, that's what you should desire. And through that desire, you know, if you desire to obtain a little bit more money, if you desire to obtain a six-pack, if you desire to obtain, you know, uh, ability to draw better or ability to play an instrument better, there has to be some type of uh, 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 tribulation or sacrifice, like it. some type of sacrifice where you give up your time and put effort into obtaining that goal. Okay, so if you desire spiritual things, you should do that. Do things that are which are in spiritual, all right. And that means staying in these scriptures. These scriptures will keep you spiritual, spiritually afoot. Keep you on a spiritual path, all right. Being around like-minded brethren, okay. Always constantly looking at what brothers are bringing out, okay. Watching videos, watching breakdowns. <laughs> watching camps, you know? And the Heavenly Father has put all of these men in front of you for you to have no excuse. And that's the beauty of it. We have no excuse. We have no excuses as to why we don't know how to be righteous. All right? Because we have many examples. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. You see? And how do you become pure in your mind? By, by understanding the scriptures. All right? By, by doing that which was given us to, uh, given to us aforetime, which is these lost statutes and commandments. By meditating in the brotherhood, by meditating on these precepts. Okay? By trying to keep in the, uh, the Shabbat, the high holy days, by uh, adhering to what the Heavenly Father told us to do. If, he to if you're a female, he told you how to pray, you do it. Okay? You cover your head. You go to a, 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 a private place in your, in, in your, in your dwelling. And you, you, you pray the way that the Heavenly Father told you to. If you're a man, you stop cutting your beard. You know, you stop eating all of these abominable things that Esau has pushed upon us since we were his children. Okay? And it's, it's steps to it, you know, but the, the point of the matter is that you are seen taking those steps. You are desiring to take those steps to get better with the Heavenly Father, to get stronger in his scriptures and to be more spiritual. All right. So let me read it again. Uh, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the most high. And that's a beautiful part about it. You know, all of us are going to see the Heavenly Father when we die. But this is talking about, you know, 
in the kingdom of heaven and 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 when you know we get taken up into them chariots you know when we were your house shy and it's going to be a beautiful thing and this is what we should desire all right to be on that seat of election to be on that chariot to be told come up hither all right to be told good and faithful servant you know and that's a beautiful there is no better gift than that you know to desire to be to be uh, told good job to be uh, well favored in the eyes of the heavenly father and his only begotten son to be well favored by them that that's a <laughs> that's that's more but that's above any riches that any any person upon earth could ever desire all right to be well favored by Yahweh Shemir Okay, let's go to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Right, let me start at verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Oh, so like it. This is Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon thine. Uh, write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the Most High and men. Trust in Yahweh by Shemir Washai with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. You see? Trust in Yahweh by Shemir Washai with all thine heart. And what did it say right here? Uh, so shalt thy find favor and good understanding in the sight of the Most High and man. All right? Because this, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, it, 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 it's a mighty thing to these heathens. All right? It confounds them. It, 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 it shocks them when you're able to speak with wisdom. All right. When you're able to break down the things and the times and the seasons and the signs. All right. All through the spirit, probably how about Shemiel was shy, you're able to do these things. So you'll find favor in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and in the eyes of men. All right. But I would desire the Heavenly Father be over before every before any man. To be well favored in the eyes of the Heavenly Father before any man. Because with that, you're never going to be uh, cast away. Whereas with men, they'll cast you away quickly. Okay? So the point of it is, you know, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thy own understanding. We lean on the understanding. We lean on this. We lean on these scriptures. All right? We trust in the Heavenly Father with all our mind. With all our, our our ability that we have within our our bodies, all right. Sometimes it feels like I don't even know what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm just saying, <laughs> however the heavenly Father guide me, that's how I'm gonna go. You know, people say you just you just don't care. You just just entering things blindly. That's some coffee, you know. That's my fix. Coffee, caffeine. That's my little fix. But nonetheless, um, yeah. Because we don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. We know that the man's going to of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So we wholeheartedly believe that the Heavenly Father got us. And we show that through our works. All right? While we're going out on the highways and byways and telling these people, you know, that you're going into captivity. All right? That this place is going, going down. What you see around you, your whole, this whole society, societal system is crumbling. All right, and your people are going to be taken into captivity, all right, for a thousand years, and then you're going to be rounded up and, and exterminated like like roaches, man. All right, and all you other nations that are with with Esau, Edom, you know, you're going to be paying tribute unto the children of Israel forever and ever. That takes <laughs> that takes a beautiful spirit, all right. That takes the spirit of 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 strength and not of fear. Okay. Come. So yeah. Um, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. You see. 
And everything that you do, give it to the Heavenly Father. My mother used to tell me when I was younger, let go and let God. Let go and let God. Not knowing what she was really saying. You know? But you are at the mercy of the Heavenly Father. Especially when you're in this truth. Alright? Even more so now when you understand who, who you're worshiping. When you understand who you're praying to. When you understand how he looks. When you understand his name. When you know his name. You're at the mercy of the Heavenly Father even much more so. Because why? Because the scriptures say, My son, when thy cometh to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So you need the Lord even more so now when you're in the truth. Because why? You understand that these demons are out here. That the wicked is going to come at you even more so harder. Okay? Let's go to Psalms 34. Wow, that coffee hit me in my legs, man. I got them Costa Rica beans. <laughs> Psalms chapter 34. And 18. I'm going to start at 17. The righteous cry... And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. All right, broken mind, broken heart, you know. And honestly, the, the, the lesson that I wanted to do is I want to go home. That's what I was thinking about before I was, uh, when I was taking a shower. This morning when I was laying in my bed, you know, I went to bed at 12 and I woke up at 4.30 because in my mind I was like, I got to do lessons, you know, and that's nothing new, you know, if I was able to do that bullshit, you know, military shit, wake up at 4 every morning, go and do a, you know, have health and welfare inspection on all my soldiers, Okay, make sure that they are accounted for, accountability call. Then go to the uh, office, give give accountability, you know, then get my briefing, my meeting. Then 6.30, go to PT, all right, PT for an hour and a half. Then go back, shit, shower, shave, you know, that's, that was the three S's we would do. Shit, shower, shave. And then by 9 o'clock, we got another formation, all right, company formation. Then you get told what you're going to do for the day. Okay? So, if I was able to do that stuff repetitively, I should be able to do this work. You know? And this is a standard that I should strive to obtain. Okay? Because these things that we're doing, we're feeding the elect. We're feeding the sheep. We're, we're exhorting one another. All right? You're exhorting your how about I was shy by doing this work. Okay? And all of these things that you're doing is is being is being seen, you know. And that's the beauty of it, all right. There's nothing that's gonna go unaccounted for, all right. Ain't no penny is gonna be slipping. Esau ain't gonna have his wicked hands on on the, the the payment that is due to the elect. Okay, so let me read that again. Uh, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save as such as be of a contrite mind. All right, and this is what we have right now. Why? Because we understand that we are still in captivity. All right, we understand that we are not in our homelands. We are not with our people. Look at our nation. Ever since King Solomon, our nation has been our nation has been divided and destroyed, scattered unto the four winds of the earth. Okay, the elect do this for their people. First and foremost, they do this for you. How about Shemi was shy? But that love comes up. The love of this work, the love of the, the lot of a prophet, it comes because you love your nation. You love your people. You know? You, you, Esau make you believe that you are part of the American, the American dream, which is actually the American nightmare. All right? Home of the brave, land of the free. All right? Whereas, Israel is the home of the brave and the land of the free. All right? Our homeland is going to be that, the land of the brave. Why? Because we stood up in the face of adversity 
with no weapons, with no physical weapons. All of our weapons were spiritual. All right? We stood up. Regardless of what Esau has done to us, regardless of what uh, Ishmael, regardless of Ammon, Moab, all of these heathen nations, regardless of what you throw at us, we still stand and still preach and prophesy and still call on the name of Yahweh Shemel with Shine, knowing that you're going to destroy the prophets, knowing that we could be cast into prison for, for however long, knowing that we're going to be targeted when all hell breaks loose, knowing that we're going to be targeted when the MOTB is made mandatory, when the central banking digital currency is going to be made mandatory. All right, why? Because we have an understanding of the scriptures and that gives us faith that has renewed our mind, that has renewed our hearts. Okay? Come. So, and, and it says a beautiful thing. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. All right, let's look up that word contrite just to get a better understanding. I'm going to the etymology. Broken. Broken in spirit by sense of guilt, conscience stricken, and resolved to not sin again. You see? Resolved to not sin again. 13th century from old French. All right? Literally worn out to the ground to pieces. Pinting it. Hey, this is beautiful. To grind. Whip together. All right? Con. The word con meaning uh, together with sometimes merely ex intensive. Trade. To rub. Turn. All right? Which der derivates referring to twisting. Also to boring. Drilling. All right? Cont contrition. Brokenness of spirit. Or having given... Or, have, or for having given offense, deep sorrow for sin or guilt with purpose of not sinning again. You see? And that's what we are right now. We understand what we did. Why? Because we read it. The Heavenly Father brings all things in remembrance. All right? We understand that we had our forefathers that were sacrificing unto these devils. All right? Worshipping idols, worshipping stones and phallic uh, symbols. Worshipping Ishtar, Baal, Tammuz, Dagon, all the gods of these heathen nations, Shemash. Okay? So that puts us in a sad, a sad mindset, you know? But we do this work because we are sad. We do this work because we, are, we have a contrite spirit. And this is the way that we vent. This is the way that we express ourselves in these last days, you know? And that's a beautiful thing that the Heavenly Father has allowed us to do. Whereas you got these heathen nations who 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 are destroyed in their mind and have no no understanding of what's going on and why the things are thus. Okay? So let's go to Proverbs. Twenty one. Proverbs chapter 21 and 2. Let me start at 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So the Heavenly Father controlling these, these so-called leaders. All right? And that right there you see, because the Heavenly Father put those wicked hearts and, and those wicked beings into places of power. And he's controlling them to make the story become true, you know, right? to, to prove the scriptures, to prove what he's written aforetime, all right, from the beginning, okay? Every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts, all right? To do justice and judgment, oh, so like it, you know, but the Lord pondereth the heart. I got these little plants here. And, you know, these little bitty bugs come out of the plants. And I finally figured out from uh, Tazwa to spray some peroxide on it. But anyways, um, let me read that again. All right. All right. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. As the rivers of water, 
he turneth it whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. You see? So we think we're doing what we want to do and, 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 you know, like we think every way that we think uh, we, we want to do something is right. But the Lord is the one who decides what your heart does. All right. Let me, let me say it like this. Ponder it. Let's, let's look up that word ponder it because I don't want to misspeak. Ponder it means to think upon. It. All right. To estimate the worth of, to appraise, you see, to weigh, <laughs> to consider, reflect. To literally weigh, all right? So the Heavenly Father weighs the heart, all right? To estimate the worth of it, all right? And this is what we should desire, that, that, that righteousness, that righteous heart, that spiritual heart, that spiritual mind, that righteous mind, all right? These are the things that we should chase, not, not this carnal mind, this carnal spirituality things. Because we understand who's carnal, who's the, the man of sin, all right? The natural man, Esau, Edom. All right, and he's taught the whole world to be far away from the Heavenly Father, whereas Israel is teaching the world to become more spiritual. All right, love and listen to the Heavenly Father's word. Okay, do that was written in the commandment and it's the law, such as the commandments. Do those things, whereas Esau tells you, Do as thy wilt. Okay, okay. So let me get uh, Psalms 37. Wow, back to Psalms. Psalms 37 and verse 4. Psalms 37 and verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. You see? Trust in Yahweh by Shem Shai. With all thine heart, you know, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee desires of thine heart. All right, what do you desire? You should desire spiritual things. You should desire uh, 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 righteous understanding. You should desire the ability to preach and prophesy. You should desire the ability to be a, a beacon of righteousness within the children of Israel. All right, don't desire riches because all of that comes with. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Honor, riches, praise, fame, you know, ex and being put on high. All of that comes with the understanding of the scriptures. All of that comes with loving the Lord and doing that which is, 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 is uh, deemed uh, acceptable in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And look at how he put, put Daniel on high. Look how he put, put Joseph on high. Look how he put all these men amongst these heathens and put them on high. Look at it, what he did with Mordecai in the book of Esther. Okay? All right? And those that love him, he always seems to put them on high. All right? And gives them desires of their heart. Okay? But first and foremost, desire to please the Heavenly Father. Desire to be a, a vessel of righteousness. Okay? Um... All right, we got three more precepts and then we'll close it out. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. You see, the fear of the wicked shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Okay? What we desire, because we're righteous, is going to be given unto us. All right? And what makes us righteous? The law, such as commandments. Keeping these things near and dear unto our heart. What the Heavenly Father has showed us to do. And which is the, the, the rule book of how to live life. All right? That's what this, these scriptures are. It's the history of Israel, the history of the world. And the, the rule book of how to conduct yourself when you live in the life as a man or a woman, right? And how to teach your children how to do accordingly also, all right? Even though Esau has a setup where he has to, he, he's going to teach your children all manners of wickedness, you know, you have to strive and contend with that, all right? And be, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, okay? 
Proverbs chapter 2. And verse 1. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding, yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and lift this up thy voice for understanding. If thou seek her as silver, and searchest for her as for hidden treasures, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of the Most High. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. You see? All right? And that's beautiful, man. We, if you criest, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, and if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. All right? And this right here is going to put you above everything. To be able to break this down, to be able to be a, a righteous judge in uh, in accordance to the scriptures. Hey, you're going to get fame. You're going to get glory. You're going to get riches. You're going to get women. You're going to get palaces. You're going to get kingdoms. You're going to get cities. You're going to get followers. You're going to get servants. All of these things coming from what? The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. Okay? Last precept is Isaiah chapter 40. Like you. Isaiah chapter 40 and 31. Count this is Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. <clears throat> But they that wait upon Yahweh by Shemi Shai shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And this is what we should, what you should desire. All right, they that wait upon the Lord, you should desire to keep that patience. All right, endure it until the end. All right, shall renew their strength. Renew our, our, we used to be mighty men. We used to be the, the fear of the planet. All right. We're going to renew that strength. We're going to renew our, our mightiness. All right. The Heavenly Father is going to do that for us with those uh, immortal bodies, with spiritual powers. All right. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Nothing is going to be able to stop us, man. We're going to be able to fly. We're going to be able to go to and fro. All right. And these heathen nations, they, they wish they could have that. The real X-Men, the real superheroes of the planet. Okay. Omni-Man, uh, Kyle, Superman. The elect are going to be those men. Okay. And these are the things that you should desire. Okay. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Arakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great mercy on the Taurus is truth, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men pushing through the whole earth and sitting across the four winds. It's the Iqua, and Lord willingness was an edifying lesson. Until next time, Shalom.